What's good everyone, Raging Yoshi here, and I know some of you are probably looking at the video title going, what the hell Yoshi, you were playing Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix previously, and why is this birth by sleep all of a sudden? So, I'm going to explain, we're also going to be talking over the opening cinematic, because Simple and Clean is a hell of a copyrighted song. Um... So, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix HD is not done by any stretch of the imagination. It's just a case of that project takes a lot more editing and work for me to put each episode together. And lately I've just been like, I guess in an editing block, it's I haven't been able to just focus so that I can sit and edit more videos of that. So, it's honestly a case of I need to take a break from it for a bit and then I can jump back into it and continue where I left off. We just need to breathe. With that being said, we're going to be playing through Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Now, first thing I'm going to say is this is a post-commentary Let's Play. I actually have all the gameplay footage recorded already. And we're going to just kind of talk over stuff and... Yeah, just enjoy this game together. <laughs> I say the word enjoy slightly loosely. Um, I have very, very strong opinions of this game. I do not think this is a terrible game by any means, but I very much do not believe this to be one of the best of the Kingdom Hearts series. So there are going to be times where I'm going to be talking about different aspects of the gameplay, and I'm going to be a little bit harsh. The truth of the matter is, I enjoyed this game when playing through it. This game is not terrible, it just it has a few design elements that I do not enjoy, do not think were well done, and I think could have been cleaned up much better. But when we're not here to tear this game apart. If you enjoy this game, you are within your right to enjoy it, just as I am within my right to not find it very interesting at points. Although the characters, I do like the characters. Aqua, Inventus, I like the, those characters very much. Terra, me and our boy Terra have some problems. Me and Terra have some issues. Not exactly Terra's biggest fan, <laughs> but I digress. It's a good. This isn't the worst game ever, and I'm gonna say that a lot because I'm going to be very, very mean. Because I love the Kingdom Hearts series; it is my actual favorite video game series in existence. So because of that, when I don't like things, I tend to be a lot more harsher about them because I want good things from this series. I want this series to be great. I want it to be awesome. <laughs> so I apologize if some of you don't like some of my comments and such. I do believe a cutscene is about to play though, so I am going to stop talking now. This world is just too small. Who's there?
But this is... Why are you in my heart? Yeah. That was my light. But my heart is fractured. And now... The little I have left is slipping away. Huh? Open the door. Keyblade. A meteor shower! Can't see much from here. All right, so now we've finally been given control of one of our three main characters. This is Ventus. Oh, I've 
got time to spare. So, this is a little tutorial area, just kind of getting you accustomed to the controls of this game, especially since it plays reasonably different from other Kingdom Hearts games. So, this game uses what's called the command deck system. So, on the left. You want a piece of me too? Uh, no, Ventus, I do not want a piece of you. On the bottom left of the screen, you see the command deck. We can scroll through it and activate the commands by pressing triangle. You can still do normal combos by hitting X. R1 locks you onto targets, and L1 allows you to switch targets. I don't know, I thought some form of voice actor was going to happen there. That's why I stopped talking. Um, you're going to notice me using a command instead of opening chests a lot. Because when you walk up to chests, you can just hit X to open them. And I'm used to a reaction command coming up for you just hitting triangle to open chests. This game plays very differently. And I'm going to get more into that a little bit later when I have more time to actually talk. Why does it seem so familiar? Give me a break, Aqua. Then, you hopeless sleepyhead. You know, you should have at least brought a blanket. But, did I dream that place up? It really felt like I'd been there before, looking up at the stars. <laughs> Except you've always lived here with us. Yeah. I know. Hey, Aqua. Hmm? You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? Hmm. Well, they say... That every star up there is another world. Huh? Oh. Terra. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, Ven. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now. You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? huh? <laughs> Yeah. Tara, you and I have our Mark of Mastery exams tomorrow. I made us good luck charms. Uh, wow. Here. I get one too? Of course. One for each of us. Yeah. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. And the fruit represents an unbreakable connection. So as long as you and your friends carry good luck charms shaped like it, nothing can ever drive you apart. You will always find your way back to each other. Technically, I think you're supposed to make them with seashells. <laughs> but I did the best with what I had. Oi, sometimes you are such a girl. Hey, what do you mean sometimes? 
So this isn't a real good luck charm? Well, that's yet to be seen. But I did work a little magic on it. Really? What? <laughs> An unbreakable connection. Alright, so we gain the power of Dimensional Link. Using our Wayfinders, we can channel the power of our friends. We don't really have access to this ability just yet, but I do show it off quite a bit. So, here we actually get into some more combat, and we actually get to play as Terra now. So just like in any Kingdom Hearts game, we can block with Square. If we attack, I mean, excuse me, if we get hit, we will lose HP. And if our HP hits zero, we lose. Now, in this little sequence here, we actually get to play as Terra, Aqua, and Ventus each. Each one of them plays reasonably differently than the rest, with Terra truthfully being the slowest and most sluggish of them. There's me showing off Terra's like basic combos. Terra? Honestly plays the worst of the three. <laughs> I've actually heard people describe it as Terra plays fair while Ven and Aqua don't. But having played this game, Terra, ooh, 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 ooh. it well, does not feel good playing this game as Terra. But you need to know how to handle a crowd too. So Aqua's actually going to help us show off another thing. We have shot locks. So shot locks by hitting both. By hitting R1 and holding it down, we get a big reticle circle that we can use to lock on the enemies. You're going to notice that I'm really bad at doing this at first. I get better as this playthrough goes on, just initially, ooh, I had to get used to doing that. Shot locking uses our focus gauge, so if you have no focus, you cannot shot lock. Okay, let's wrap this up. Shot locks are also pretty powerful, truthfully. So here we get to have a little sparring battle, we get to pick our character to play as. So we're gonna play as Terror. And you do usually wanna fully lock on with your shot lock when possible. Cause the shot locks do have a maximum number of times that they can lock onto a target. And you definitely, definitely want to do that as often as possible. It comes with experience. Don't have too much left though in this video. So no, we do not want to spar again. Be careful. Like you can sit there and keep sparring if you want, but it's really not worth it. Trust me, you guys are ready. You're gonna clean up the exam tomorrow. I hope it's that easy. It's like the master said. Power is born within the heart. When the time is right, you just need to look inside yourself, and you'll find it there. We also get something called the command board. I actually never do the command board. I might mess with that for an extra video. We also have save points so that we can save the game. Yeah, it's such an awkward piece of dialogue right there. There's no reason to have Ventus say that. Just have a little box appear on screen telling us to save the game. All right, I think it's mostly cutscenes for the rest of this video. So I think I'll see you right at the end. So I'll stop talking now as we save the game. Hey, uh, we're gonna head back. Yeah, me too. Together. Always. That would be the last night we ever spent beneath the same stars.
Mickey, I cannot shake the feeling something terrible is about to transpire. Hmm? 